That's what it is, is gaming companies that realize that gaming is now, it is, it always has been. But people need to realize that gaming is about experiences. That's what the games do. The games deliver the experience. For a while, tech was delivering the experience, but the tech is so similar now. All we're doing is eking out extra frames and getting more particles in our picture. That experience, though is great and is immersive, the game has to really hold you. And I made this point before, I'll make it again. If you can see all the hairs on someone's head and you know each one's moving in its own independent way and the grass is doing its own thing and you can see freckles and different things on the clothes and the shirt moves independent from the jacket, that's great. That's cool. I mean, you can watch the Matrix, the Matrix demo, and you see some of that on the Xbox Series X and the X and the PlayStation 5, the S a little bit less, but on those systems, that's really cool. And for a demo, it it blows you away. But $70 later, once the demo's over, it sure as heck better have a story. And the gameplay better be intuitive. Because if either of those don't exist, it's an experience. Expensive, expensive showcase of power. It doesn't matter. Gaming is about experiences. There's a reason why different games may look like they're 16. I mean, I played Octopath Traveler on the on the uh, Switch. I love that game. The experience was good. Heck, I just read an article about Sifu. They have a demo for Sifu that's 15 minutes long. IGN released. I don't even like IGN, but they released a really interesting statement saying we played Sifu, a 15 minute demo for three hours and we're never bored. That, my friends, is the definition of gaming experience. Something that is that good. And Sifu is highly stylized. It's not realistic. It's extremely stylized. And it's going to be a beautiful game. That's for sure. But it's stylized. And so I think that it's really, really important that the this whole elitism, and it's not happening as much anymore. All those people are unsubscribing from my channel in droves. My my channel is losing people left and right because I'm 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 not willing to sit here and just listen to the same vernacular, the same, oh Xbox X beats Series S. Stop talking about the S, bro. Nah, leave, dude. Leave. I'm not here talking about it because I'm trying to milk it. I'm here talking about it because I'm so darn excited about the series s and what i can do i can play and i'm going to i can play for the first time in my gaming life right and i'm saying that because i haven't grown up with halo okay you got to understand that my excitement is because it's new but for my first time in my gaming life i get to play online with my best friend who no longer lives in the same state as i do i'm playing with him online he lives in washington dc i have another friend who lives in oregon like i'm we're going to play today on this stream three different states Two different time zones, three different consoles. One of them's gonna be on PC, the other one's gonna be either on PC or Xbox Series, Xbox One S, and I'm on the Xbox Series S. And we're gonna stream it to you guys. And we're gonna play online and have voice chat. This is the gaming experience that exists right now. I could give two craps about frame rates and 4K. It's how am I going to have a good time with my friends? That's all that matters. That is what the play is. That's what that's why I always that's why I talk about play. That's what play is. We play with each other. This is it.